All right, first check of the night. It is almost 11 o'clock. So I just let her run for quite a while tonight before I came out and checked. Actually, I just watched a movie, to be honest with you. All right, so... We've already got quite a few bugs out here. Mm -hmm. Let's see some more blister beetles. That's always a... That's a, not the greatest sign. Oh, here's a nice... Uh, it's one of the tiger moths. I'm not sure which one. Let me get a photo of that one real quick while I'm here. It's a yellow shouldered slug moth. Right, let's check the other one. Another one of those, uh, tiger moss. Not sure what that guy is. Another blister beetle. So I did a little bit of research on these blister beetles. There's a lot of them out here. Um, apparently their larval stage is um, actually in uh, beehives. So it makes sense that we have so many because I do have a beehive over here. Just in case. Oh, here we go. Um, this is one of the... Oh gosh, what am I? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to figure it out later. Oh. I don't know. Cool moth. Yeah, that guy there is actually a moth. Looks kind of like a firefly. Wait at, buddy. Let's see if I can get a better video of this one tonight. See, so yeah, super weird little little critters here, really. But they are cool looking. Yeah, that is a mantid fly. Alright y'all, I'm not sure what this guy is, but he is absolutely cool looking. <laughs> Get moss in my mouth here. But it's worth it. Look at that guy. That is probably the busiest patterned moth I've ever seen. So this guy right here, this is uh, Isabella tiger moth. So if you're familiar with the um, woolly bear caterpillars, the ones that are black and red, and people say that they uh, can predict the severity of a winter, um, this is what they actually turn into, is these uh, Isabella tiger moth ca uh, moths. Another cool moth there, some more slug moths. Here's cool, not sure what he is either. So this little fella right here is a chagrined slug moth. Um, and that's, uh, it's actually got its abdomen, it's, it's, uh, its butt end kind of sticking up o over its back. So it's upside down right now. Um, and I guess it's doing this to kind of, uh, break up its silhouette. But yeah, so at the top of your screen is actually its legs, its face, and its wings. And that's the bottom half of the, uh, of the, of the moth. And then what it's doing is it's sticking its abdomen up in the air. And I'm not sure if maybe it's, uh, trying to attract a mate or if this is a normal thing that it does to kind of make it look less like a moth and more like... Maybe a little knot on a tree or something. Maybe a broken off branch. I'm not sure, but they're beautiful little moths. Okay, so here's a second slug moth. This is the yellow-shouldered slug moth. And it's doing a somewhat similar thing, but not quite as extreme as the other. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I've seen a third kind. 
Um, oh, here it is. So this is a spun glass uh, slug moth. So the, uh, the caterpillars of these things are uh, clear and they kind of look like a, uh, maybe like a sea urchin or a sea cucumber or something. They're, they're the weirdest looking things. Um, I think I have a video and I'll link to it if I do. But yes, yeah, so that's three different kinds of slug moth. Uh, yeah, slug moth. Here's another one of the uh, spun glass slug moths here. So yeah, they're not terribly, you know, crazy looking, but the, the caterpillars, I, I urge you, go look those up. They're really cool. It's looking like the wind is picking up on me here, so I may be calling a little bit early tonight. Hmm? Looks like we still got quite a few moss and things. But yeah, that wind is just... I think it's going to be too much tonight. And it looks like pretty much the same stuff that was out earlier.